Hello and welcome to this session of the LSE Festival. Uh, my name is Alistair McGuire and I'm Professor of Health Economics and Head of Department of Health Policy at the LSE. Today I want to tell you a little bit about some work we're undertaking on health systems resilience and sustainability and that work uh, draws upon a partnership of a number of individual private companies as well as eight other countries across the globe. Now, all of this was kick-started, of course, by the COVID pandemic, but it's against the background that all healthcare systems are relatively new. Most stem from policy reforms which were introduced in the late 19th century and early 20th century, just over three or four generations ago. So all healthcare systems are pretty new. In fact, in the UK, the National Health Service uh, began in 1948, which is not that long before I was born. And for many global healthcare systems, the initial date of them being introduced into their countries was even later. Not only that, uh, it's estimated by the World Health Organization that around 10% of all income in the world is spent on healthcare. Not only that, that uh, expenditure is growing relatively fast. It was growing at about 4% per annum just before the COVID pandemic. And of course, as a reaction to the COVID pandemic is growing even faster now. Now, whilst the growth in income spent on healthcare is growing, the disparities around the world are huge. There's about $40 per capita per head of population spent on healthcare in low income countries, but over $3,000 per head of population spent on healthcare within the United States. And low income countries, of course, are trying to uh, develop their healthcare systems within very tight constraints and rely upon uh, development assistance for somewhere between 30 to 40% of the public healthcare coverage. So the pandemic has highlighted that healthcare systems are built on and often technologically remain in the 20th century. And yet uh, we have to build on the lack of resilience that healthcare systems have had to the pandemic to move forward. COVID has tested many of the country's healthcare systems beyond their limits. Healthcare systems in many, even developed in high income countries, have been overwhelmed by COVID patients and the populations are often facing barriers in trying to get access to healthcare. And the pandemic itself, of course, has displaced healthcare in other areas, the access to cancer treatments and uh, cardiac treatments, for example. So we recognize that all healthcare systems are different and they're evolving in different ways, but there's a lot of common issues which face all healthcare systems globally. There's lots of financial constraints. We have to ensure that everybody has universal healthcare coverage. There's equity of access to healthcare issues, which are common to all countries. Most countries are facing some form of workforce supply constraints. So the training of the workforce and the employment of workforce is a common problem for all healthcare systems. We need to define the healthcare risks that populations face, and we need to create information on the integration of new practices, new treatments and new technologies into healthcare systems. The COVID pandemic has spotlighted these issues and spotlighted them in particular in terms of um, the problems of resilience and sustainability of all healthcare systems to a shock to their system. The COVID pandemic was of course the catalyst for this work, but in fact it's only the catalyst because although the pandemic showed how many systems were not very resilient uh, and in terms of adjusting to the shock of the COVID pandemic. Uh, we want to roll this general research forward to look at resilience and sustainability in general of health systems globally. Um, so the current work is in partnership with uh, AstraZeneca, who seed funded the work, the World Economic Forum, and eight individual countries who are producing case studies for the work. 
So the eight countries are France, Germany, Italy, Spain, the United Kingdom, Poland, Russia, and Vietnam. And the work is concerned with defining, designing, and implementing policy relevant tools which attempt to address the issues of uh, healthcare system resilience and sustainability globally moving forward. This partnership uh, builds on our working collaboration with the European Observatory in Health Systems and Policy and our newly established African Observatory platform as well. Now, let me acknowledge, first of all, that there's no common definition of what's meant by health system resilience and sustainability. Our definitions are for resilience, we take this as a focus on the short term ability of healthcare systems to react to shocks to their systems. So it's an ability of the healthcare system to prevent, withstand and rebound from chronic shocks. Whereas the definition for sustainability that we take is that it's a much longer term goal of healthcare systems to adequately provide quality healthcare for its population's needs and to withstand external and internal stresses, epidemiological stresses, economic, social stresses, political stresses and environmental change. We want to attain our objectives by building on a consensus of definitions of health system resilience and sustainability and the factors underpinning them so that they can be analysed consistently and globally across different countries and their individual contexts. We want to generate knowledge and understanding of resilience and sustainability so that we can identify the various strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats which exist in individual healthcare systems across the world. We want then to guide action by generating evidence informed solutions and policy recommendations to improve resilience and sustainability. And we want to do that by facilitating cooperation across individual countries, getting individual countries to learn from what other countries are doing to solve their problems. This work on uh, resilience and sustainability is a partnership, as I said. The partnership's in its pilot phase. It's running in its pilot phase from uh, last August until February 2021. And it's focused on developing a framework for healthcare system sustainability and resilience based on desk research and consultation with experts in the field. The framework has been uh, hopefully used to guide analysis and the eight uh, pilot countries will be uh, reporting on case studies going forward. The findings will be captured in a framework document which will be released in March this year and the individual country reports will follow. Mm -hmm.